Hi gang, Scott here. In this video, we'll take a look at the sunshine filter in On One Effects. This filter adds a, a sunshiny glow to your photos. You know, reaches colors a little bit, adds a little bit of contrast. I'll show you what the controls are. There's just a handful of them and an example of it in action. If you're thinking about adding On One products to your toolkit, it could be On One Effects, any of the plugins, uh, the new Photo Raw 2022, check the show notes. There is an offer code down there. We'll save you money. It gives me a little bit of support so I can come back and do more videos like this. So. So let's get to the sunshine filter. So let's get our sunshine filter added to the filter stack. And there are four controls for this filter. We have an amount slider. So how little or how much of that do you want? And you can see the, the effect on the photo there. You push it farther. The brighter areas get brighter, a little more washed out. The colors get a little richer. You have a warmth slider, so you can add warmth or coolness to the photo. And to prove a point here, let me take the amount of this down. This warmth slider is affecting your photo itself, right? As does saturation. This is like saturate more of the colors of the photo that I have or desaturate them. And these controls, depending on how you adjust them, will then of course mix with the amount slider differently. Now that's it's more of an academic type of thing because really when you work with these filters and you're adjusting the sliders, it's the look on the photo that ultimately matters. There's an interrelationship between some of these sliders so if I have an amount of, of 50 with a higher saturation, well, it's going to look different than an you know, amount of 50 with no saturation or an amount of 39 with even more saturation. There's always an interplay here, but uh, just do know that saturation is going to affect the tones of your image. So like a scene like this where there's a lot of like those rich oranges, it can get nuclear pretty fast if you push that too hard. Last is we have a glow, and this is kind of like a diffused, you know, like almost like a Hollywood glow or a very bright sunshine glow. The brighter areas will get a little uh, foggy, a little faded out, and a little diffused. And that happens when we shoot in sunshine. If you push the amount of your sunshine high, you know, that glow gets affected even more. Uh, it's a convenience slider, the glow slider. Uh, you know, sometimes a little bit is nice. I tend to reach for the dedicated glow filter when I want to apply a glow look. But if all you need is a tiny little bit, and it is that uh, it could be like a portrait session where you're adding this type of you know faded Hollywood glow, it's a good touch to add, and it's right there in the tool. Right, so how about we wrap up this photo here? I'll reset the filter. I'll just try a couple of quick settings here. Strong is is definitely strong. Glow is diffused. I can audition a few others of these here. How about sunshine? That's almost almost the same as the default for the for the filter. I think I liked a little bit more on this one, just a little touch, uh, but I don't need the extra warmth. And maybe I'll push the amount a little higher and and balance that with opacity because I do have the overall control here. And for this photo, I don't think I need to do any masking. I mean, I always have the masking tool, so if things are looking mostly good, but uh, I don't know, the, the 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 top fourth of the scene, the sky just got a little bit washed out, you can always downplay that with a partial opacity mask too. I think for this scene, this one's going to be okay before and after. It just you know, it kind of brightened things up, made it add a little more life to this scene. This was a pretty uh, pretty dim afternoon, and yeah, that uh, that brightened things up, so I like that. And that is the sunshine filter in On One Effects. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you got other questions, go ahead and drop them below. I will do my best to answer. And until next time, my name's Scott Davenport. Have fun.